Labor says it's considering changing the legislated deadline to return 450 gigalitres of Murray-Darling Basin water to the environment. So far, only two gigalitres have been recovered. The previous water minister had said efficiency projects would not be finished in time for the mid-2024 due date. Labor promised during the election it would meet the deadline. The environment minister a short time ago, though, had this to say. It's an option that I'm looking at, but I'd... I'd prefer to get there in the time and that's why we are being very ambitious with the uh, options that we're looking at. Uh, I'm very hopeful that we'll see increased effort from states uh, uh, to return water to the system. Joining me live is Green Senator Sarah Hanson-Young, so hopeful but a delay seems to be an option. Well, is it a broken election promise? Well, uh, anything that pushes back uh, South Australia and the River Murray getting the water that was promised, of course, uh, is a breach of, of what was committed to. Um, there is a colossal task to be done because only two gigalitres has been recovered from the 450. Um, but rather than pushing out the deadline, we need to be buying back that water. We need to be buying it back off uh, through voluntary buybacks from willing sellers uh, and giving it back to the environment. What if you can't get there through voluntary buybacks? Isn't that part well, of the problem? Yeah, well... Let's try, Tom. That's that, that's my uh, point today. Uh, before we jump the shark and start uh, delaying uh, the water for the river and uh, delaying the water for South Australia, uh, we need to use the tools that are already in the in the toolkit, and that is uh, voluntary buybacks. Let's okay. get it done. So Labor presumably has plenty of information on this. Perhaps it's saying that, that it will be difficult with voluntary buybacks. Is it important to keep people on board with the plan? and keep it at voluntary, and if you can't get all of them in time then, it's better to delay it a little bit and keep people on board with this plan rather than um, force buybacks and suddenly have people unhappy with the plan. Look, I think if, uh, if South Australians don't see a commitment soon to a water being uh, purchased for the environment and being returned to the environment, any suggestion of a delay, um, they're going to be pretty uh, annoyed about it. It's not going to go down well. Uh, particularly in the lower reaches in the Murray and in South Australia, um, uh, to have a, a delay without uh, a commitment uh, to um, returning water today. And um, we've got two years to get there. Uh, there is an ability right now for the Minister to start purchasing water um, out of the, the national accounts uh, to return to the river. Um, that is the first thing the Minister needs to start doing. Would you seek to block any move in the Senate if there is a an official or legislative delay that the government wants to put in well, place? Look, I, I'm very keen to make sure we don't get to that point, Tom. I'm very keen to make sure we get the water for the river and for the environment. And, of course, uh, this is what is good for South Australia in this sense, uh, that 450 gigalitres. We talk about it as promised to South Australia, but it's about being uh, keeping the river alive and healthy. Um, what is good for the bottom end of the river is good for the entire system. Uh, it keeps the river alive. Um, we are about to head, start heading um, back into a drying period. Uh, this is only going to become more important over the next two years. Uh, and I would like to think that with uh, some cool heads, some strong commitments in this place, uh, with uh, the parliament as the makeup that it is, that we can get this done properly. You alluded to the difficulty of this because the other government was falling behind, and that's what Tanya Plibersek has said as well. She was shocked how far behind they were. So. Would you seek to get a better understanding and perhaps you give a, get a brief and you go, here's where we're at, we just can't do it, and then perhaps give the government a pass? Uh, there is... There's no way it can be done the way the, gov the previous government was uh, intending to do. And it was a set-up. And, you know, I'll put it on the table now. It was a set-up from uh, uh, the National Party and, and those in uh, the coalition uh, to, um, inch by inch... Uh, back out of the commitment to return that 450 gigalitres to the river and to South Australia. So um, that approach is not going to work. We do need another approach. We've got in the toolkit water buybacks, voluntary water buybacks, uh, and that's what the Minister... Voluntary. And it's fair enough to stick to voluntary? You agree uh, with that? It, voluntary, absolutely. No-one's talking about anything All else. Right. So uh, but voluntary buybacks uh, is the uh, way forward. The tools are there. The ability for the Minister to do that is there now, let's get it done. If Labor won't commit to the deadline, would that affect negotiations on the climate bill that are going on? Oh, look, uh, there's, there's a lot of different pieces of legislation and changes that are going to be debated in this parliament. Um, uh, we're dealing with that uh, 
right now. Um, uh, the negotiations and talk with the minister on water. Um, I'll, I'll keep that separate. Separate. For now. So you wouldn't say, I, "Well, you're breaking this. We're not going to do this. No, it, it, Split them out." I'm overall worried about how we're treating the environment right now. Um, we're in crisis. Uh, whether it's climate fueled or fueled by uh, the, the you know, over extraction of water in the Murray Darling Basin, there is obviously uh, links. Um, to how all of this is impacting on the health of the environment. So we're not going to not going to step away from that, uh, but um, our negotiations over this piece of legislation, uh, the climate targets legislation, um, is being done now. Um, okay. I'm speaking to the minister about water. Um, you know, uh, I hope we can get good outcomes on both. Senator, thanks for your time today. Thank you.